Well, good morning all. Uh, it's a lovely start to a Friday morning. Don't get better than this. Sat outside your tent, in the sunshine, motorbike, motorbike, kingy cooking breakfast. Don't get better than this. Uh, today we're gonna be heading down to Le Mans. Um, gonna head up to Aramash Beaches first. Uh, have a little look in the museum probably. Um, pop to pop a couple of the uh, cemeteries. And then, yeah, down to Le Mans. Reckoning around 100, 110 miles today. We're just gonna take a nice little meander. Again, miss all the motorways, miss all the toll roads. Don't want none of that messing around. And uh, clock up a few miles. Don't think we'll be in the seat too long though. 100 miles is easy really. It's just a walk down the shops for the amount of miles we're putting on the bikes these days. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my cooked breakfast, get another brew on the go, and we'll see you soon. Sorry about the helmet here, I've got. Um, we've managed to stop here at uh, Decathlon en route to Le Mans today because last night Tom had a bit of a rubbish sleep because he got so cold, he got down to about six degrees and uh, he managed to get himself pretty cold in his cheap sleeping bag that he uh, bought at Halfords. Uh, so, decided to get a new sleeping bag, um, just been in and uh, he's managed to get one, a better rating for temperature wise for the colder conditions. Uh, so hopefully you can get a much better sleep tonight and won't be so grouchy. Anyway, we, uh, we'll catch up again once we get to our Le Mans campsite and I shall see you then. Cheerio.
Okay, here we go. So, look, guys, I um, I'm voicing over um, now that I'm editing the video. Uh, I just wanted to give you a sense of what this campsite was like. I've sped the footage up because me and King actually rode around this campsite for nearly 30 minutes. Uh, it was just under 30 minutes, um, and looking for place to put the tent up uh, or feel like we could actually camp. Um, you'll see all this this ribbon and, and marker tape around everything. This is where guys and girls have set up their little camping areas and then marked out their own little pitches. Um, I don't think this is done by the organizers. Uh, this is just people doing it themselves because all the tape is different, uh, different makes and manufacturers and, and stickers all over it. Uh, some people actually put full fencing out, as you see this orange corrugated fencing. Um, some guys have got metal trellis work out the front. Um, yeah, it's it was packed, to say the least. Uh, not a patch of grass to stick a tent on, um, let alone have your bike and tent, and King having his bike and tent together. Um, something that we could feel safe, as I say. Um, yeah, it was a mess. Now, one thing you don't, obviously, one sense you don't get from this video is the smell of the place. Now, every other turning, there was something on fire. Be a tent on fire, an old burnt-out motorbike, um, rubbish, general wood, plastic, anything people could find to burn, they were burning. Uh, and it, it, the smell in the air was just horrible. It, you know, it just got right in the back of the throat really really bad um it was a mess I, I i didn't feel that it was a place i wanted to camp and talking on it in the comment to, to king he, he weren't happy either you know at this time during the day there was people tear assing it around on motorbikes stripped down motorbikes little rally bikes and you can only imagine once a few more beers have got in the bellies uh they'll be doing that at night no lights you know flying around, drunk, stoned, whatever. It's just not a safe place. Uh, as, as fun as it may have be for those guys that really enjoy doing that sort of thing, that's not my cup of tea. So we decided to get out of Dodge, get back on the road and find a new campsite and go somewhere where we felt a little bit safe. So it's back on the road in search for a new campsite and to get away from all this craziness.